Hello beautiful people, this is Tanya. And today I'm going to try what is called an easy meatloaf. Yep, that's what it said, easy meatloaf. So what I'm using, it calls for a pound and a half of ground beef. This is actually two pounds. This came out of a three pound pack that I had at Sam. So I'm gonna use the whole two pound because what I'm gonna do with a half pound of meat. It calls for one egg. Here are my eggs. And depending on the consistency, I might put two eggs as opposed to one. It calls for um, one, one onion chopped. Here's my chopped onion. We did a lot of onions and we uh, freeze it and save it in two, uh, two cup uh, bags so that when we get ready to use it, we know there's two cups in here. So you just use what you need out of it. It also calls for bread crumbs, milk, ketchup, brown sugar, and it says, oh, I'm sorry, did I say mustard? And mustard. And it tells you salt and pepper to taste. So, you know, I'll be using Slap Your Mama. And although it does not call for this, you know, I always put my own spin on everything. I have some um, green peppers that I chopped up. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to do half onion and half green pepper. It does not tell you to saute them, but I'm going to saute them first so that they'll, um, they'll be more cooked. And also, I'm going to put in a little Worcestershire, whatever. I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce in it too. So again, you know, I do my own thing. And instead of making it into a loaf, I saw Kim on the wads do uh, individual portions. And so I think what I'm going to do is take a either a ice cream scoop or a half cup measuring cup and put it in there and portion it out that way. But anyway, once I get all this mixed together and have it all, because um, you don't want to see me saute onions, I know. You don't want to see me mix meatloaf and all that stuff together, I know. So once I get all that together and have it portioned out, then I will bring you back and let you see what it looks like before I put it in the oven. All right. So for me, it'll probably be about 10, 15 minutes for you, a few seconds. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Hello, everybody. This is Tanya. I'm back. And I finished putting my meatloaf together. This is a different tray. That's why my foils are all wrinkled. So don't come at me. But uh, because that small tray I had, what's going to fit all all the uh, the little mini meatloafs that I meatloaf that I have because you can do them all in one but like I said I saw Kim on the wads do it this way and it gives you the individual serving and I thought that was kind of cool and just so you know I used a half cup so these are all with the exception of uh, this one right here they're all um, half cup serving so the uh, I have my oven preheated for 350 degrees the recipe says to cook it for an hour. Since they're so small, I'm not gonna cook them for an hour. I'll probably cook them for like, I'm gonna start with 30 minutes and then we'll go from there and see how they do. All right, and I will bring you back, or when I bring you back, I will let you know how long I actually did cook them. And again, this is what they look like going into the oven. All right, so I will see you on the other side. Hi, this is Tanya. I'm back. And I let my meatloaf cook for about 33 minutes. 33, 35 minutes. And I have them out the oven. Let me just see what they look like up close. This dish towel is just getting all in my way. Do it like that. There you go. So you can get a good shot. Anyway, it smells good. And just so you know, I did add some um, garlic to this. Add a little bit of garlic to this as well because, you know, garlic makes everything taste good. And so I'm stewing some sweet potatoes and some um, French cut green beans. And that's what we'll be having for dinner. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And leave a legacy.